Remember, Gia, when you were like, if we do this documentary, you have to like have your hair done when you wake up in the morning, <laughs> eyeshadow on, mascara, like waterproof mascara. <laughs> if Beyonce was doing it, she'd look great in the, in the minute she woke up out of bed. Adina Menzel is taking us into the unknown of her life in her new Disney Plus documentary, Which Way to the Stage, where she directs us through her very unique music career. Josh Groban wrote on his Instagram story, Yes, Adina, congrats on your beautiful special, my friend. I've had a lot of highs and lows, so you start to r realize how fleeting all this stuff can be and how you just, when it comes, you gotta, you gotta grasp it. Adina wrote on Instagram on the day of the doc's release, To my beloved friends, it's not always a straight line, but dreams really do and can come true. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being with me on this topsy-turvy, clumsy, glorious ride. Yes, yeah, so it was 1996 where Adina first landed on people's radars with Rent, which is a bittersweet breakup for Adina because that role in musical was written by Jonathan Larson, who passed away the day of the musical's first night in front of an audience. He never got to enjoy all of the accolades and the love that everybody was sending back our way through that show. Till, till now, till tomorrow night, you know, till every concert that I ever do. It's like, it's thanks to him. Like I have fans from 23 years ago. But it wasn't from 27 years ago and on. Adina stalled for a few years there in the middle until something wicked came her way in 2003. Cynthia Revo shared the origin of Wicked Clip as she currently films her role as Elphaba, the role that Adina originated in the big screen version of the musical. Creating an original role is the most rewarding. Nobody's seen it before, you know, you can have that freedom to really discover who they are and, and build it piece by piece. And then it would be 10 years later that Adina would get frozen and end up being hotter than ever and having her first top 10 hit at 42 years old with Let It Go. I just wanted you to know I wasn't lip syncing. Her Frozen co-star Josh Gad will surely watch her documentary soon, but on release day he showed Adina that she, Elsa, is also getting some major play at Disney Hollywood Studios. Wait, where's Halloween? Oh, so we're home, day off here mm -hmm. at home. How long does it take to drive from LA to Salt Lake? When I signed on for the tour, I told them, I'm only doing it if I could have two days off to take walk or trick or treating and go home for Halloween. As she embarked on a tour in 2018 performing all of her hits, Adina shows the toll that it takes of being a mom on the road. I miss my son and my husband and then I decided not to bring in Walker this weekend because he's got all these games and I won't have seen him for like two and a half weeks. So what kind of mother does that make me? Adina also reveals in the doc that she was trying to get pregnant at 47 years old. Then I'm thinking, why am I choosing to do this whole IVF thing? There's only that many eggs, so it's like, I gotta rush it in. Why am I rushing it in on the one week I decide to like film a documentary from Madison Square Garden and like capture this dream and <laughs> try to fly my kid in and do everything all at once. And then I'm gonna, just gonna get sick and not be able to sing it anyway. But she's able to let it go. And all the personal and professional ups and downs have, let's do it together, changed her for good. I have been changed for good. For me, this documentary lands in the middle of musical artist documentaries. Like some of them can be like too surface level, like too much of a puff piece for the artist. That would be like Shania Twain's Not Just a Girl from earlier this year. And then you have the ones that really dive in there and you know strip away the facade, and that would be Selena Gomez's My Mind and Me. And yeah, which way to the stage lands in the middle? That it doesn't go insanely deep, but it is interesting to watch Adina, you know, juggle these personal and professional aspects of her life, sometimes in the same day. And she does have a fascinating career. Like she has these three huge peaks in her career with valleys in between across 17 years, and now she's able to stay, you know, maintain that started because of those three peaks. It's really fascinating. Yeah, I can't think of anyone else in the pop music world who has a career quite like Adina Menzel or a story just like Adina Menzel. What did you think of Which Way to the Stage?